Hello friends, this is Paige Evans and today I want to share how I created this layout using the Studio Calico Sonnet Kits. I was perusing through the digital files and saw the bird printable journal card and so I wanted to make my layout based on that. So drag and drop it into a new Silhouette Studio file. I've zoomed in a little bit and now I need to trace the birds. So click on the trace button, select the trace area and use your cursor to draw it over the entire thing. Uncheck high pass filter, click on low pass filter and then just play with the threshold, scale and value. I'll be honest, I don't really know what they mean. I just know that they, you know, cover or take away the yellow area. <laughs> so just play with them. And then once you're satisfied that the birds have been covered. I tried to make it a little bit thicker than the bird so that more of the bird would cut out because all those little dots I'm not going to use. So click trace and then I'm going to enlarge it so it covers the entire top two thirds or so of a cut mat. And then I will go ahead and cut it from white cardstock. I used a brand new mat so it was super sticky and I used a brand new blade just to make sure that everything would cut out supremely because this is a very detailed cut. I even lowered the speed a little bit to make sure it was going nice and slow. Now it doesn't cut all the way to the edge. I can't, I didn't, I can't, I just can't do that. So we need to use fine pointed scissors and just finish cutting to the very edge so we get individual birds. Just going to speed it up so you can see I'm just going around. A little tedious, but a little tediousness never hurt. All worth it in the end. And then very carefully peel the paper off the mat. So I wasn't going to use the white background originally, but hey, just go with the flow. I ended up using the white, so just carefully peel it off the mat and then you will be left with all of your bird, all your little birds. So then you need to carefully peel off the birds. Patience is a virtue. <laughs> all right, so once you have all of your birds peeled off, then pick the pattern papers that you want to use to back the birds. I'm just using all of the pattern papers I could find that I could get my hands on from the Studio Calico Sonnet kits. Thought about using this blue background, but at this point it's just going to help them pop off the page. So put the bird in a box textured side down and use some spray adhesive to lightly cover the back with a nice coating of spray adhesive. This makes the bird nice and sticky and put it on top of your chosen pattern paper and then fussy cut it out. So lots of little steps to make this layout. They're fun to do while watching a favorite television show or listening to some cool jams. And repeat this step for all of your birds. I'm using some mint fine tipped scissors from American Crafts. They're my favorite scissors. I really like how they can get right up into the tiny spaces tight squeezes. Great, I'm almost done cutting this one out. Ta-da! So I'm using the white card stack as a template just to make sure I know where to put it back on to the page. So here are the papers that I've chosen and I've used spray adhesive to stick the birds down and then I hand cut them all out. So here are the birds and I've decided to use this pattern paper in the background instead of the royal blue cardstock that came in the kits. So the next step is to apply a little bit of adhesive onto the back of the white cardstock here and there. Don't need to use a ton unless you want to. <laughs> Flip it over, place it carefully on top, try and get it as aligned as possible and then trim off the excess with a handy dandy paper trimmer. So then I want some of the background to show. So I'm going to adhere the birds with 
dimensional foam adhesive a little off-center. Turn the bird over, add... I just used two pieces of foam adhesive on each bird, and then place it right back over where it belongs, just a little off-center, a little helter-skelter. A little, as Rick Steves, he's, we swear by his um, travel guides, higgledy-piggledy. <laughs> anyway, so here's the photo that I'm using, and I'm just going to create a photo cluster so that the eye is drawn right into this photo. So I tore off a little piece of that colorful heart card and tucking under a tag. And now I'm going to adhere three butterflies. I think it's important to have threes of things doing embellishments sometimes. Not all the time. <laughs> little title, Hello Cheeky. Jane wasn't very happy in this picture. We probably said no to something. And yeah, so I liked everything in those placement, in that placement. So I went ahead and glued it down. And now the final touch is to add some journaling. I like to use a pencil first. So I know that I want my journaling to go there rather than drawing it with a pen first, which is permanent. So I'll write my journaling and then erase any leftover pencil marks. And I decided to give it a second title with Sorry, so these Pink Fresh Studio alphabet stickers. And I even sewed them down in place a little bit with the sewing machine. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing how I made this layout from start to finish. And thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day.